The world of Elder Scrolls Online is absolutely teeming with adventures to be had and battles to be fought, and there really truly has never been a better time to join in. So if you haven't checked it out yet, here is a whole bunch of reasons why you should do it right now. Even with a title that's as critically acclaimed and exceptionally popular as Elder Scrolls Online, there's simply no way to know if you're going to like a game until you've tried it out, right? And naturally, that does put a few people off of subscription-based titles, and don't worry, I totally get that. But the good news is that, unlike a lot of MMO RPGs, Elder Scrolls Online does not require a subscription to play. You just got to pick up the base game and start looking for the nearest quest. But if you are in a subscribing sort of mood, hey, I got some good news for you. An Xbox Game Pass membership will get you access to the Elder Scrolls Online, as well as countless other amazing titles from Bethesda and the rest of the Xbox family. And if you want to help keep a track of all the brilliant games arriving on Game Pass, you might want to subscribe to my best friend Xbox on. The other thing that makes Elder Scrolls Online unlike any other MMORPG is right there in the title, my dudes. It's a friggin' Elder Scrolls game. That means once again, you're going to be wandering the wide, wonderful world of Tamriel, traveling everywhere from its magnificent cities to its frozen wastelands, and thanks to the recent Necrom chapter, the exceptionally vibrant Telvanni Peninsula and eerie Apophrica. And actually, there's a lot more to do than just walk around and taking in the sights too, because each area is filled with memorable characters to meet, deadly enemies to battle, and of course, epic quests and stories to undertake during your adventure in Tamriel's second era. You'll even have the opportunity to revisit some iconic locations from other Elder Scrolls games if you are that way inclined, like the demonic realm of Oblivion and the regions of Morrowind, Skyrim, and elsewhere. Fair warning for that last one though, my dudes, there are going to be a fair bit of dragons. Basically, it has all the rich world building and intricate storytelling you'd expect from an Elder Scrolls game, only this time you can play along with tons of other adventurers online. Adventuring solo is totally welcome as well, it's entirely up to you. Now, while the characters you'll encounter in Elder Scrolls Online all have their own wonderfully well-written personalities, they are not the only people you should be excited to meet because the game also has its own thriving community of players. With tons of players populating the persistent world of Tamriel each day, the realm has never been more alive than it is right now, right this second, making it kind of the perfect place to connect to your fellow fantasy fans. Plus, there are a ton of players' guilds roaming the lands, always on the lookout for new members. Ideal if you want some backup for that next tricky quest or just someone to hang out with. You know, we've got an Xbox on guild. Let us know if you want an invite. The other thing that can make a game this vast kind of daunting, I guess, for new players is the fear that you'll have to spend hours grinding before you're actually able to start exploring. Because no matter how stunning the scenery is, it's kind of hard to enjoy it if you're just getting your ass kicked in a bunch of new locations, right? So the good news is that Elder Scrolls Online scales your character to match the enemies in each zone, including the new areas you unlock by picking up the game's many, 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 many wonderful chapters. This also means that if you're partying up with a more experienced player, let's say, which, you know, can be a great way to learn the ropes, you are not going to spend the entire time getting battered by ridiculously powerful enemies. Make no mistake, though, you're still going to be in for a pretty serious challenge when you throw down with the game's bigger bads, but the level scaling ensures that you are always free to travel wherever you want, whenever you want, and with whoever you want. That freedom to roam also means that you'll be able to get stuck straight into the incredible amount of PvE content that ESO has to offer, and this is my favourite part, to be totally honest. You can play through the game's main storyline, an epic tale which grows longer and richer with each new chapter, or cast a wider net by exploring the many, many quests on offer. This is Tamriel after all, and there is always somebody with a job for you to do. On top of that, you're also going to find four player dungeons for you and your friends to go hacking and slashing your way through, the ideal place to flex those Nord muscles perhaps. For more dungeon crawling fun, you could check out the delves and test your combat skills against their fearsome mini bosses. And to really up the ante, there are Trials, which takes players of groups of 12 into some of the vastest and most terrifying dungeons in all of Tamriel. Safe to say, you'll be able to snag some very tasty rewards if you can make it through these Trials in one piece. Although, if you don't mind me saying, that is a pretty big if. So it's kind of nice when we all get along, but with these sword staffs and battle axes lying around, you know, it'd be a shame not to test each other's metal from time to time now, wouldn't it? And Elder Scrolls Online also offers plenty of opportunities for players to do just that, with a robust selection of PvP offerings on the go. 
Should another player offend your honor in some way, you can invite them to settle the matter with an intense one-on-one -on -one duel. Also, it's a pretty good option if you just feel like having a scrap. But if it's full-blown warfare you're after, and I can understand why, you can head into the Alliance War and battle alongside your fellow players in a series of bloody campaigns. Or, for the best of both worlds, Battlegrounds offers fast-paced 4 versus 4 battles featuring a variety of game types. So, in conclusion, yes, there are a whole range of fun ways to batter the other players you encounter throughout Tamriel, because I'm certain you were about to ask me that. With all of those quests to complete, and all of those other players to murder, you might be feeling a little overwhelmed at the prospect of making even a start on Elder Scrolls Online, but really you shouldn't, and I really, really think I can help you out here, okay? To start, the whole point of this game is that you get to play whatever role you like within the world of Tamriel, so you'll be able to find a whole bunch of casual content for when you're not slaying dragons or swinging swords. There's a robust crafting system that gives you the chance to master everything from blacksmithing to clothes making to enchantments and alchemy. And if you want, this is all a totally voluntary practice. But basically, if you do find something lying around anywhere in this game, you can probably learn how to turn it into something cool. And while you're looking, you'll likely stumble across some of the treasure that's hidden all across Tamriel, or perhaps some of its valuable antiquities. Or perhaps maybe you'd rather focus on building your dream house instead. Or here's another thought, maybe you want to become the best Tales of Tribute card player in the whole dang realm. It's up to you. Then, when it's really time to unwind, and I mean really properly relax, you'll find a whole world of fishing spots just waiting for someone to come and sit quietly by them. And these are really just a few of the reasons I desperately want you to check out Elder Scrolls Online, so feel free to fire your own favourite things about it down in the comments, and if you haven't played it yet, you've got to the end of the video, go do it now! Thank you very much, goodbye!